Dr. Sten Ekberg, a renowned health expert, embarked on an unconventional experiment that challenged common dietary beliefs. He decided to consume a diet primarily consisting of bacon, butter, and eggs for 30 days. This experiment aimed to explore the effects of a high-fat, low-carbohydrate diet on the body. Ekberg meticulously documented his journey, tracking his food intake, body weight, and blood markers. The results of his experiment were surprising to many, challenging the conventional wisdom surrounding fat consumption and heart health. Ekberg's findings shed light on the body's remarkable ability to adapt and thrive on alternative dietary approaches. This essay delves into the details of Ekberg's experiment, exploring the potential benefits and risks of a ketogenic diet. For decades, dietary guidelines have demonized saturated fat and cholesterol, linking them to heart disease and other health problems. Foods like bacon, butter, and eggs, rich in these nutrients, have been labeled as dietary villains. The public has been advised to limit their intake of these foods in favor of low-fat, high-carbohydrate alternatives. This dietary dogma has been widely accepted, shaping eating habits and influencing public health policies. However, emerging research has begun to challenge these long-held beliefs. Studies suggest that saturated fat and dietary cholesterol may not be the culprits they were once thought to be. Some experts argue that the focus on reducing fat intake has inadvertently led to an increase in sugar and processed food consumption, contributing to the rise of obesity and chronic diseases. Before diving into the 30-day keto experiment, Ekberg decided to conduct a preliminary challenge. For 10 days, he consumed a diet high in processed foods, sugar, and unhealthy fats. This deliberate indulgence aimed to create a baseline for comparison, allowing him to observe the immediate effects of an unhealthy diet on his body. As expected, the junk food binge took a toll on Ekberg's health. He experienced weight gain, increased blood sugar levels, and a decline in energy. This short-term experiment served as a stark reminder of the detrimental impact of processed foods on overall well-being. It also highlighted the body's resilience and its ability to recover once a healthier dietary pattern is reintroduced. After the 10-day junk food challenge, Ekberg transitioned to a clean ketogenic diet. This way of eating emphasizes healthy fats, moderate protein, and very low carbohydrates. By drastically reducing carbohydrate intake, the body enters a metabolic state called ketosis. In ketosis, the body shifts from using glucose as its primary fuel source to burning fat for energy. Ekberg's keto diet consisted primarily of whole, unprocessed foods. He consumed plenty of healthy fats from sources like avocados, olive oil, nuts, and seeds. His protein intake came from grass-fed meats, poultry, and fish. Non-starchy vegetables, such as leafy greens, broccoli, and cauliflower, provided essential vitamins, minerals, and fiber. Section 5. Bacon, Butter, and Eggs – A Nutritional Breakdown While the keto diet encompasses a wide variety of foods, Ekberg chose to focus on bacon, butter, and eggs for his experiment. These foods are naturally low in carbohydrates and high in fat making them ideal for inducing and maintaining ketosis. They also provide essential nutrients often lacking in modern diets. Bacon, despite its processed nature, is a good source of protein and fat. It also contains essential minerals like selenium and zinc. Butter, a natural fat derived from milk, is rich in vitamins A, D, E, and K2. Eggs are nutritional powerhouses, providing high-quality protein, choline for brain health, and lutein and zeaxanthin for eye health. Section 6. The Science Behind Keto and Cholesterol The ketogenic diet emphasizes fat consumption, particularly saturated fat. Conventional wisdom says high saturated fat raises cholesterol, increasing heart disease risk. Recent research challenges this belief. Cholesterol is essential for hormone production and cell membrane integrity. LDL is bad cholesterol. HDL is good cholesterol. The type of fat consumed impacts cholesterol levels more than the total amount. Section 7. Intermittent Fasting, a Key Component In addition to following a clean keto diet, Ekberg also incorporated intermittent fasting into his experiment. Intermittent fasting involves cycling between periods of eating and fasting. This eating pattern has gained popularity in recent years due to its potential health benefits. 
including weight loss, improved insulin sensitivity, and reduced inflammation. There are various methods of intermittent fasting, but one common approach is the 16-8 method. This involves fasting for 16 hours each day and consuming all meals within an 8-hour eating window. Ekberg followed a similar fasting protocol during his experiment, further enhancing the metabolic effects of the ketogenic diet. Intermittent fasting, when combined with a ketogenic diet, can accelerate the body's transition into ketosis. This is because fasting depletes glycogen stores, forcing the body to rely on fat for fuel. It also promotes autophagy, a cellular cleaning process that removes damaged cells and proteins, contributing to overall health and longevity. Section 8. The Transformation, 30 Days Later After 30 days of adhering to a clean keto diet and intermittent fasting, Ekberg experienced significant changes in his body composition and blood markers. He lost a substantial amount of weight, primarily body fat, while preserving lean muscle mass. His waist circumference decreased, indicating a reduction in visceral fat, the type of fat stored around the organs that is linked to an increased risk of chronic diseases. Ekberg's blood work also revealed remarkable improvements. His blood sugar levels, which were elevated after the 10-day junk food challenge, returned to a healthy range. His cholesterol profile improved, with an increase in HDL cholesterol and a decrease in LDL cholesterol. His triglyceride level, another type of fat found in the blood, also decreased significantly. These positive changes in Ekberg's health markers highlight the potential of a well-formulated ketogenic diet for improving metabolic health and reducing the risk of chronic diseases. However, it's important to note that individual results may vary, and it's crucial to consult with a healthcare professional before making any significant dietary changes. Section 9. Understanding the Potential Risks of Keto While the ketogenic diet offers potential health benefits, it's essential to acknowledge the potential risks and side effects associated with this way of eating. Some individuals may experience unpleasant symptoms, often referred to as the keto flu, during the initial stages of the diet. These symptoms, which typically subside within a few days, can include headache, fatigue, nausea, and constipation. One of the main concerns with the ketogenic diet is its restrictive nature. Severely limiting carbohydrate intake can lead to nutrient deficiencies if not carefully planned. It's crucial to ensure adequate consumption of essential vitamins, minerals, and fiber from non-starchy vegetables, low-sugar fruits, and other nutrient-dense sources. The ketogenic diet may not be suitable for everyone. Individuals with certain medical conditions such as pancreatic disease, liver disease, gallbladder disease, or a history of eating disorders should avoid or consult with a healthcare professional before adopting this way of eating. Section 10. The Importance of Balance and Individual Needs Ekberg's experiment demonstrates the body's remarkable adaptability and its ability to thrive on a variety of dietary approaches. However, it's crucial to remember that there is no one-size-fits-all approach to nutrition. What works for one person may not work for another. The key to achieving optimal health and well-being is to find a way of eating that is sustainable, enjoyable, and supports your individual needs and goals. While the ketogenic diet may be an effective tool for some, it's not a magic bullet. It's essential to prioritize whole, unprocessed foods, maintain hydration, and listen to your body's cues. Regular physical activity, stress management, adequate sleep, and strong social connections are equally important for overall health and should be prioritized alongside dietary choices. Section 11. Processed Meats and Health. A Word of Caution. While Ekberg's experiment focused on the consumption of bacon, butter, and eggs, it's important to address the potential health concerns associated with processed meats like bacon. The World Health Organization has classified processed meats as Group 1 carcinogens, meaning there is sufficient evidence linking their consumption to an increased risk of cancer, particularly colorectal cancer. Processed meats are those that have been transformed through salting, curing, fermentation, smoking, or other processes to enhance flavor or improve preservation. These processes can lead to the formation of harmful compounds, such as N-nitroso compounds and heterocyclic amines, which have been linked to cancer development. While moderate consumption of bacon as part of a balanced diet is unlikely to pose significant health risks for most individuals, it's essential to be mindful of its potential long-term effects. 
opting for unprocessed sources of protein, such as fresh meat, poultry, fish, beans, lentils, and tofu, is generally